What's up guys, Fix here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. But today guys, we're going to be talking about the possibility of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 coming to 2018. Now you guys are probably wondering yourself, why are you talking about Call of Duty 2018, you know? Call of Duty World War 2 comes out in three weeks. Why don't you worry about that Call of Duty? The next Call of Duty comes out next year. Why are you even talking about this? How do you even know there's even information about the next Call of Duty? Now, to be honest with you guys, I would agree with you, but if you got to think of it like this, Call of Duty 2018 information would be leaked in seven months or less because around May, that's when we start to get official Call of Duty 2018 information from screenshots, from trailers, from and videos from Activision. So those are information that would be officially confirmed in May. Before May, so you got April, March, February, January, some, maybe sometimes even in December, very late December, very early January. But around those times, that's when you start to get leaked information. That's when people start to go into files to see what information would be leaked about Call of Duty 2018. And if you really think about it, we got like four months. We got four months for leaked information coming to Call of Duty 2018. Now, it's said that Call of Duty 2018 will be set in a modern era, which I'm fine with. If Call of Duty 2018 goes into a modern era shooter, I'm fine with it. I have faith in Treyarch. I know they will do a very good job with that, with whatever Call of Duty they make i just hope they don't go to no futuristic like boots in the air it could go into a future cod i don't care as long as it's like black ops 2 where it's futuristic but still boots on the ground but anyways getting a little off topic here i want to talk about call of duty black ops 4 now an analyst company known as cohen and company basically guys what these companies are they analyze and then they predict and what i mean by predict they predict for next year this year and years to come so Let's say I'm a big time investor, you're a big time investor. You have some big money, you wanna invest your money so you can make more money, because that's what investors do. They make money, they have money, they wanna make more money. So let's say I wanna invest in a company such as Activision. I would ask this company to go to Activision, kinda of analyze how well they've been doing, how bad they've been doing, kinda of see how they're doing all in general, and then they would report back to me, they would tell me if it really is worth my money or not. So that's basically what happened. Whole bunch of investors got together, they asked a company, Cohen and Company, to go and see how Activision is doing. So they sent somebody out. They had someone do that. They had someone analyze, had someone asking questions, all that kind of stuff. And it turns out to be that they got some information that Call of Duty for 2018 would actually, in fact, be named Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, if it really is named Black Ops 4, I'm totally fine with it because I would rather have a Black Ops 4 game rather than a different standalone different title that they would make for this year now would i be mad if they made a different title for this year absolutely not but i feel like personally they should stick with black ops 4 and here's my reason why you stick with something that's well known you stick with something that everybody knows well you got for example the modern warfare series the modern warfare series changed call of duty forever you have modern warfare 1 it was the first Call of Duty to take Call of Duty out of World War II, put it in a modern era. It changed Call of Duty forever. Then you have Modern Warfare 2. That's when that that's when the game started to have customizable kill streaks. It was the most anticipated game. Everything. That's when everybody was really hyped about Call of Duty. That's when everybody really wanted to buy the Call of Duty game. Then you have Modern Warfare 3, the number one best-selling Call of Duty game out there. That's the best-selling COD. But then you got the Black Ops series, which Black Ops 1 took us to Vietnam. At one point, Black Ops 1 had 3 million players online at the same time. 3 million players. I don't know if you'd see that in any current Call of Duty right now, but 3 million players at once for Black Ops 1. Then you have Black Ops 2, which was the first Call of Duty that took us somewhat into the future. I mean, that Call of Duty really kind of set the roots for the next generation of call of duty for jetpacks all that kind of stuff but at the same time black ops 2 was the most fun call of duty that's when it really took off for a lot a lot of people it took off for me took off for a lot of youtubers all that kind of stuff and it really took off for the competitive scene a lot you really started to see a lot more people get into p competitive call of duty that's when i really started getting into competitive call of duty then you have black ops 3 which in all honesty even though the Jetpack Call of Duties are my favorite, out of any of them, I think Black Ops 3 did it the best. I would be safe to say a lot of people also agree with that statement that Black Ops 3 did it the best. But then, now you have Sledgehammer working on Call of Duty World War II. I can't imagine Treyarch working on a World War II shooter two years in a row with World War II. I could not imagine that. I feel like they planned it out. I feel like they talked about this. Sledgehammer would work in a World War II. Treyarch would do a modern era and I feel like Infinity Ward's also gonna do a modern era But that also begs the question black ops 4 you go with something that works well for you You also gotta understand guys a lot of people that play call of duty. They're not like us They're not like us that watch YouTube videos a lot of the players 
that play Call of Duty, they're casual players. They have no clue about YouTube and Call of Duty in general. They probably don't even know Call of Duty exists on YouTube at all. So we're the minority. The people that actually play Call of Duty just casually are the major. That's like, I think they said at one point, like 80% of the players that play Call of Duty are actually casual players that don't watch YouTube at all. And then the 20% are us that watch YouTube and play Call of Duty. If you think of it like this, Black Ops 4. A lot of people that would, a lot of people that play Call of Duty, they say to themselves, well, you know what? Black Ops 1 was a good game. Black Ops 2 was a good game. Black Ops 3 was a good game. And then you got Black Ops 4. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a good game. I give you my money. Let me get the game. But I feel like if they go to a different name for Call of Duty, whatever it might be, you know, people might not be interested in that. You know, people would shy away from it. People would probably say to themselves, I don't know about this Call of Duty. I don't know about this one at all. You know, this is a different name. I've never... I don't know how this one would play out. Now, I understand why people also think that way at the same time. They don't want to keep reusing the same title over and over again. You know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and then you got Black Ops 4. You know, think of something different. And I completely understand there's also things with storylines. You know, make a new storyline. Do all that kind of stuff. That's why they also make a new title. But hear me out, guys. I feel like if Call of Duty Ghost was actually renamed to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, I feel like that game would have sold a lot more than what it did right now. Just because of the Modern Warfare, you hear Modern Warfare 4, you know that's such a successful franchise. Since you have that name, you go with it. You just go with the name you have that does the best. Modern Warfare series does the best. Black Ops series does very good. Just go with something that works well for you. I don't know, man, this isn't confirmed. Like I said, this is all from an analyst company saying that the next Call of Duty game will be Call of Duty Black Ops 4. None of this is confirmed. But I would like to see a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 in my opinion. I feel like that works very well. Like I say guys, stick with stick what works the best for you. If it's not broken, like they say, don't fix it. But anyways, are you guys excited for Black Ops 4? Would you guys like a Black Ops 4? Or would you guys like a different storyline? Leave those down in the comments. I'm very curious. But anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like on it. Rate the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video. Really help the channel grow. Like I said guys, I know... Call of Duty 2018 doesn't even come out till next November, but believe it or not, information will start getting leaked very soon to us. So, like I said, you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful, drop a like on it, rate the video. Please turn on post notifications so you guys know when I upload. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What do you guys think of that? I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out, guys.